Hey everyone, welcome to Learn Algebra Faster. In this video we are going to discuss how to find the mid-range of a set of numbers. Okay, mid-range and range are similar but they're different. In the range, remember we first found the highest number and then we subtracted the lowest number and what that did for us was it showed us how much variation there was from the lowest number to the highest number but in mid-range there's a key difference we want to find the middle of the range which means we want to find the average between the highest and the lowest so we will still have to identify the highest number we'll also have to identify the lowest number but instead of subtracting the two we want to find the average so we need to add them and divide by two now this will give us the number that's in the middle of the highest number and the lowest number so we don't necessarily have to put all the numbers in order and the way I like to find the highest and the lowest is I just read the numbers left to right and mark mark the highest as they get higher and the lowest as they get lower so we see we start with 10 16 is bigger than 10 19 is bigger than 16, 21 is bigger than 19, so 21 is our new highest value. So not 13, not 16, okay, 25 is even higher, and 29 is even higher than that. And as we continue to read left to right, we find out that 29 is our highest number, so we will go ahead and write it down. Okay, let's start from the left, 10 is our lowest. And as we are reading, we find another 10. But as we're reading left to right, we actually do not find any number that is lower than 10. So we find out 10 is the lowest. Now we want to find the average between these two points, and that's our mid-range. So we need to add them and divide by 2. 29 plus 10 is 39. And 39 divided by 2 actually gives us 19 point five so our mid-range value is nineteen point five let's go ahead and check another practice problem okay for this number remember mid-range means we need to find the average between the highest and the lowest okay fifty seven is a big number. 43 is less. 65 is even bigger. 65 is repeated. So we find out as we read left to right that 65 is our highest number. So we will write it down. Now let's find our lowest number. 43 is lower than 57. 39 is even lower. And it looks like 39 is our lowest number. So we have 65 plus 39 divided by 2 will be our mid-range. So 65 plus 39 gives us 104. And when we divide 104 by 2, we get our mid-range, which is 52. So, notice on the mid-range, we didn't necessarily have to put the whole set of numbers in order. We just used a little method to find the highest number and the lowest number. And remember, the difference between mid-range and range is in mid-range, we find the average. And in range, you just find the difference. So if you want to get this and much more, head over to LearnAlgebraFaster.com. We have a free video course for you, and you'll find a whole lot more on mean, median, mode, range, and mid-range, and much more. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next video.